Hello everybody. There's a huge problem out there. There are a lot, lot, lot of confused English students and confused English learners. And perhaps you are one. These students know a lot of English. They know a lot of grammar rules. But the problem is that they cannot understand instantly and effortlessly. They cannot speak clearly, confidently, and effortlessly. Yes, they know about English linguistics. They know the academic study of linguistics, like nouns and verbs and pronouns, the phrases, the clauses, the different verb tenses, all of that stuff, but they cannot perform. They cannot understand instantly, as I said, effortlessly. They cannot speak clearly, confidently, and effortlessly. That's a huge problem. You know, all these adult students out there who just cannot actually speak English well and understand it well, even though they know a lot about English. See, most schools, most programs, and indeed most students in these schools are focused on the academic English. See, academic English is the English that is used in schools. It's used in college, you know, at universities, at the highest level. Yeah, it's, it's academic English. So what are they focusing on? Yes, they're focusing on the grammar rules. In other words, they are focusing on the linguistics and they are focused on writing. If you think about it, you know, like in your English classes in the past, you probably did a lot of writing, right? You were reading lots of textbooks, you know, you were writing for your text. It wasn't just normal writing, you know, like for example, writing a letter, you know, writing an email to someone, but actually writing papers. You were writing essays and things like that, like academic English, right? You, you know, like getting ready for the, the TOEFL exam or the IELTS and things like that. Well, as I said, that's academic level English, right? That, that's an actually very difficult kind of English. That's basically a formal written style of English. It's, it's also very specific to schools. So academic English, the English that you, you've learned most of your life probably, it's very small section of normal English. It's a special kind of English that's very formal, that's based on writing, and it's used only in schools, and trying to learn that first, and focusing on that first, trying to run a marathon, you know, 30K or 50K before you can crawl, before you can crawl like a baby, you know, it's, it's kind of a backward, you know, in other words, you know, in schools, uh, in textbooks, most English programs, uh, you know, I think that the order is wrong. See, you know, the babies know better. You know, babies know best, I can say. The question is, how do babies learn English? Let's think about that. How do they start first? Let's talk about, you know, the steps. What are this, you know, what are the, 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 the steps? What is the schedule that a baby follows? Well, first a baby focus totally on listening, naturally, right? When they are first born, they cannot speak. They cannot read, they cannot write, but they listen maybe like for at least a year, and they are only listening. They're not speaking at all. Yeah, they may, might, you know, they might make some sounds, you know, ba, 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 da, 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 but they are not speaking words. They are not speaking English, for example. But what are they focusing? What are they doing here? They are totally focused on listening, massive listening. Every day, constantly, they are listening, listening, listening to their parents. If they have a brothers and sisters, they are listening to them. Again, listening, 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 and more listening. So much listening, constantly, everyday massive listening is the very first thing that they do. They focus totally on that in the beginning, again, for at least a year. But of course, that massive amount of listening continues their whole life. Even though I am just in my 30s, but I'm still listening to English and Azerbaijani, my native, constantly every day. Hours and hours and hours, hours I listen to English and Azerbaijan language. Every time I watch a TV program or movie or, you know, very, very time that I have a conversation, I'm listening. Every time I have a phone call, so much listening there. So that's step one. Babies focus totally and completely on listening. Lots, lots, lots of English. Lots, lots of listening. Now, after a lot of listening, right, 
What's the second thing that they do? Do they start reading and writing? No, they don't. The second thing they focus on or practice is speaking. Of, of course, they continue to listen, you know, like a lot, but yeah, they still listen every single day. But then after a year or more, or maybe less, you know, they start speaking. And how do they practice speaking? Well, the most important point here is that it's unforced. They don't force themselves to, to speak. They don't try to speak full sentences if that's too difficult. You know, they start by speaking one word and eventually they start speaking two words together. And little phrases of, you know, three or four words. And then finally, after many months, they start to speak in full sentences. So the first, the very first step, babies focus on listening, listening, listening. That's all they do. And then they add speaking but they are still doing a lot of listening. So, what's next step? Well, next step is reading. But how do babies start learning to read?